Steam Frame, and MetaQuest 3, two of the most exciting names in handheld VR and mixed reality, are taking center stage in 2026. And every gamer wants to know which of these devices truly reigns supreme. As a passionate gamer, there's something electrifying about seeing hardware wars kick off and shape the future of how we play, immerse, and compete. In this video, we'll dissect both giants across every angle that matters to real gamers. Specs, display, comfort, battery, exclusive features, ecosystem, and the all-important fun factor. Expect honest opinions, hard facts from verified sources, and a bit of hype. Because this face-off is the hottest tech clash of 2026. Specs Showdown raw power comparison. The Valve Steam Frame is absolutely stacked with cutting edge components. It comes with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, a whopping 16 gigabytes of RAM and either 256 gigabytes or one terabyte of storage with micro SD support for easy upgrades. By comparison, MetaQuest 3 uses the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2, has 8GB of RAM, and tops out at 512GB of storage with no SD expansion whatsoever. That's double the memory on the frame side, which is a genuinely significant advantage when you're running multiple applications, streaming games, or managing massive game files simultaneously. Both are standalone devices, completely untethered and mobile, but the frame flashes a clear lead in internal muscle and storage flexibility. The frame's ARM-based system runs Steam OS, meaning it has compatibility layers for Linux, Windows and Android apps, giving it a crafty edge for emulation and cross-platform versatility that Quest 3 simply doesn't offer. Where Quest 3 claws back, is in its balanced performance for mixed reality workloads specifically. The XR2 Gen 2 chip is purpose-built for spatial recognition, object tracking, and rendering. So Meta's device feels hyper-optimized for smooth, glitch-free VR experiences, even if it lags a bit in raw, multi-threaded processing power. Display and visual fidelity. Gamers live for breathtaking visuals, and both devices bring serious firepower here. Steam Frame's dual 2160 by 2160 LCD panels per eye offer absolutely eye-popping clarity, with refresh rates ranging from 72 hertz to a blazing 144 hertz in experimental mode. That's seriously impressive. Quest 3's visuals are close competitors, though 2064 by 2208 pixels per eye, with a max refresh of 120 hertz. The frame's slightly higher refresh rate and sharper resolution definitely edge it out for crispness, especially during fast-paced VR shooters or racing games, where every single frame counts for competitive play and responsiveness. Both devices utilize advanced pancake lenses that are lighter and deliver greater edge-to-edge -edge sharpness, cutting down on the blurring and god rays that were so common and annoying on older VR headsets. For the field of view, both hover around the 110 degree mark horizontally, which means a much wider, more immersive experience than last generation devices, and a genuine huge step up for both VR newcomers and veteran players alike. The visual presentation on both is genuinely stunning for 2026 standards, making the choice more about personal preference than outright quality. Audio, comfort and build quality. Sound is half the immersion equation and Valve made sure the frame keeps up with premium audio tech. It packs dual stereo speakers on each side of the headset, each pair carefully oriented to cancel out unwanted vibrations a clever engineering trick that makes in-game sounds noticeably clearer and more directional. Quest 3 offers improved 3D spatial audio that feels punchier than its predecessors, though some audio enthusiasts note Valve's hardware delivers a touch more clarity at higher volumes during intense gameplay sessions. Comfort can absolutely make or break long gaming sessions, and this is where things get genuinely interesting. 
The Steam Frame is a lightweight champion, just 440 grams with battery, head strap and facial interface all included. Quest 3 at 515 grams is noticeably heavier, though still manageable for most players. That 80 gram difference might not sound dramatic, but when you're wearing this device on your face for an hour long gaming marathon, that extra weight starts to compound and add up quickly. Valve's modular design is another significant win. You can swap out components, making it exponentially easier to upgrade or repair if something fails. This philosophy represents a serious commitment to long-term value and sustainability. Quest 3 is robust and well-built overall, but lacks the same customization and upgrade potential that the frame provides. Battery performance and innovative features. No handheld device is complete without strong battery endurance and both contenders deliver decent performance here. Steam Frame runs on a 21.6 watt hour battery and with smart foveated rendering, which renders the area you're looking at in high detail and intelligently lowers quality elsewhere, it squeezes out solid playtime. Typical gaming sessions range from two to three hours per charge, depending on whether you're running standalone games or streaming graphically intense AAA titles from your gaming PC Quest 3 also averages two to three hours, though extended mixed reality sessions or continuous wireless streaming can tax the battery more quickly. Honestly, both could benefit from longer battery life for true marathon gaming sessions. Steam Frame flexes several genuinely exciting innovations that set it apart in meaningful ways. Most notably, it features foveated streaming with integrated eye tracking, something Quest 3 completely lacks at this price tier. And this is genuinely huge for gaming performance. Eye tracking technology cranks up visual fidelity where it matters most to you and reduces bandwidth sag for PC streaming making wireless gameplay feel more responsive. The frame is completely modular in design, meaning component upgrades could theoretically make this the last VR headset you ever need to buy. Its dual wireless radios keep PC streaming latency ultra low, even during intense action sequences, and you can seamlessly play both VR games and traditional 2D titles on a giant virtual screen. Quest 3's killer feature is its mixed reality capability. Those RGB color cameras with depth sensors deliver genuinely top-tier pass-through video, so you can blend real and digital worlds like never before. You can literally play with digital objects, layered directly onto your real room, or walk around your space without removing the headset at all. It's genuinely the closest thing we have to sci-fi augmented reality experiences, and Meta has seriously nailed the execution and polish here. Content library, ecosystem, and community. Meta Quest 3 absolutely shines in this critical area that matters for long-term gaming satisfaction. Meta has years of VR developer support built up, meaning a polished app store, deep game library and massive user community constantly creating new content. The Quest ecosystem is carefully curated and tight, ensuring most games run well and actually take advantage of hardware features without frustration or compatibility headaches. Their store is loaded with exclusive mixed reality and VR first experiences, making it genuinely the most user-friendly option for VR newcomers who just want to jump in and start playing immediately. Steamframe's superpower is Steam itself, the largest PC gaming platform in the world by a massive margin. If it's available on Steam VR or Steam Deck, Chances are genuinely good it'll run smoothly on frame, especially given the flexible operating system and software compatibility layer. For old school gaming enthusiasts, running Windows or emulation opens up an entire universe of indie, retro and experimental games that may never hit Meta's curated storefront. If you're the type who loves discovering hidden indie gems and playing everything from classic arcade games to bleeding edge indie titles, Steam Frame gives you access to pretty much everything ever created in gaming history. Software experience and value proposition. Meta's UI is streamlined, accessible, and loaded with social features, perfect for multiplayer sessions or casual VR hangouts with friends. 
You boot it up and everything just works intuitively. No fussing around with complex settings or driver updates. Valve's Linux-based SteamOS is more gamer-oriented and technical, with deeper customization options, but admittedly a steeper learning curve for VR newcomers. Still, the frame-verified program echoes Steam Deck's successful compatibility labeling, helping buyers know in advance which games will run smoothly without issues. Quest 3's user base is massive, and its party and multiplayer features are genuinely plug-and-play without technical barriers. There's tons of big-name apps like VRChat and Horizon Worlds absolutely thriving on the platform. Steam Frame is still relatively new in the market, so gauging community strength fully is difficult. But tapping into the existing Steam ecosystem, friends lists, shared game libraries, cross-save functionality is a massive advantage if your crew is already on PC gaming. As of November 2025, MetaQuest 3 starts at around $500 for the base 128GB B model, while Steam Frame launches at $699 for 256GB B, or more premium internals and modular upgrades cost extra. But you're genuinely getting future proofing and versatility that Quest 3 can't match. Quest 3 is the best value for first-timers, ecosystem loyalists, or anyone more interested in mixed reality experiences than maxed out hardware specs. Steam Frame is fair value for genuine enthusiasts seeking peak hardware, deep customization options, and PC streaming without any compromise. So which portable gaming king should you crown in 2026? For raw power, future upgrades, and PC gamers who want genuine maximum performance from their handheld headset, the Steam Frame is a technical masterpiece that clearly earns the edge. But if you crave the smoothest possible mixed reality experiences, a giant game library and instant access to fun, especially as a VR newcomer, MetaQuest 3 remains the most accessible and enjoyable choice available. Both are fantastic in their own unique ways, and the winner depends entirely on your personal playstyle, budget constraints, and gaming priorities. That's genuinely the sign of a truly golden era for handheld VR gaming in 2026. So let me know in the comments which one fits your requirements. Thanks for watching.